Welcome to day 14 of Team Long Run's Getting Started Running series. The thought for today is reward. What reward do you get from running? Um, it's unlikely you're going to get rich as a runner. Um, it's highly unlikely you'll even get famous as a runner. Um, I'm, I'm a longtime coach and a, and a runner, and I can barely name the, world record, the current world record holders in, in most distances. So the rewards have to be intrinsic. You have to, you have to recognize what you're getting, what you're gaining each time you go for a run. Um, it's easy for me to talk about. You'll learn it as you go, but um, you're going to learn that you're tougher than you think. You're going to learn the rewards of consistency. You're going to learn that you'll get faster, you'll get stronger. Um, you're going to, you know, you're going to value what you achieve through effort. So consistency and effort have their own rewards. They are their own rewards, and it's all here on the track. Today's strength exercise is aimed at your core, your abdominals, and your back muscles. Um, those are important for a runner because it gives you a good, strong, upright running carriage. Your upper body isn't slouched. Um, it makes a big difference in your efficiency as a runner. So this core exercise is, it may be familiar to you. We call them bicycles. You're going to be on your back. I'll be on my back. On the ground. And I'm going to raise my feet. And I'm just going to do a bicycling motion. Okay, if I think of it, I'm going to have my ankles dorsiflex. That just means my toes are going straight up. And I'll do this for 30 seconds. Today's workout is one of my favorites. Um, we'll call it a 6-10-6. Six. It could easily be a 6-12-6. Six. You're going to roughly take a quarter of your total running time and run at a pace a little easier than your ordinary sustained run pace. The middle 10 or middle 12, okay, will be faster than your average sustained running pace. And then your last six will be a little slower again. So essentially, you've got a warm up, some hard work, and then a cool down all within the space of the run. You're going to have to learn to recognize those two different paces. Have fun.